Win a £10,000 dream kitchen by Christie's Kitchens. Brought to you by top chef Chris Sharalambus of Kyle Brewich. The Bailey's Cheesecake is a real, a real fun dish, you know, the whole family can get involved in. And obviously using Bailey's liqueur, white chocolate, cream, cream cheese. A great dish for entertaining as well, you know, it's a real showstopper. Once you bring that to the table and somebody sees that, um, they'll be really impressed with it. So this dish is a Bailey's Cheesecake, using one of my favourite ingredients, which is, of course, Bailey's. So the first thing I'm going to do is just is crush the biscuits. So when you're crushing your biscuits, just very, very roughly, don't want them too fine. Um, but then again, you don't want big lumps in them. So you just want a sort of fine breadcrumb texture. Next up is to measure our butter. You're looking to get roughly 100 to 105 grams of butter. Then add this to the pot to melt. So once our butter's melted, uh, we're going to add it into the biscuits. We'll give it a good mix, make sure it's all well incorporated. You're looking for a nice sort of sandy texture. Okay, so I've made a base. Um, now all I have to do is just put it in the moulds and let it set. I'm making individual ones today. You can make a large one, smaller one, it's up to you. If you like more base, put more base in. But I like just a thin, a thin base on mine. Now to pat them down, just use the bottom of a wooden spoon, a rolling pin. Today I'm using a whisk, and just to get right into the edges. So that's a base he's made. All set to do now is put them in the fridge, hour, two hours maximum, and that should be then ready. So now we come to the fun part of the recipe, uh, making the mix itself. So we need the cream cheese, uh, we need, of course, the Baileys, icing sugar, chocolate, and double cream. So first of all, we'll put the, the cream cheese in. Two packets, which are 200 grams each. Or any good, any good cream cheese. Next, seven of icing sugar. Always seven to get rid of any lumps. And then we're just going to incorporate the cheese and the sugar together. And nice and smooth. Okay, so once our uh, sugar and cheese is nicely, nicely mixed, uh, we're going to add on our cream. So we're going to use 300 ml of cream. So this is 600 ml carton, so half of this again. Don't have to be too accurate. I'm just going to whisk this just to get some air into it. I'm going to whip it until it's uh, it's pretty stiff. Now to introduce our main ingredient, the Baileys. Carefully introduce this into the centre of the bowl. You're looking to use roughly 25 ml. Using your wooden spoon, really blend the flavour of the Baileys into the mixture. Once this is done, finally grate in the chocolate to give our mixture the finishing sweet touch. So base is out of the fridge, and they're nicely set, uh, our mixture's made. So just going to spoon the mixture in, we'll, uh, we'll level it off and then we'll put it back in the fridge a couple hours to let it set, and then that'll be it. So, a good generous, good generous spoon. Once they're all filled, uh, just take a, a spatula and just smooth over the top, give it a nice finish. Place the cheesecakes in the fridge and leave these to chill and set for roughly two to three hours. So cheesecakes are set, two to three hours. Um, all I have to do is pot them out of the moulds and uh, we'll garnish it with some, some fresh strawberries. Take your time when removing the cheesecakes from the moulds as you want to maintain their shape. The strawberry garnish will add colour to the cheesecakes and really give your dish that final touch. Now all you have to do is enjoy.